Hello YouTube, I'm Zep123 here to discuss a familiar problem that seems to be happening across a lot of people's Macs in terms of the Borderlands Game of the Year edition on the App Store. So, what most people have been experiencing is major slowdowns and almost unable to play the game. Well, I have a pretty good solution and you'll get to keep the game looking as good as usual uh, it'll actually make it look better than if you had all the settings turned to its absolute lowest. So, let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to the first link in the description below and go to this and you'll, well, you'll end up at this page uh, for willowengine.any. So what you're going to want to do for this is you're going to want to download it. After that, it's going to show up in your downloads folder or whichever folder you have set it to and you're going to want to copy it into, go open up Finder, go to Library, Application Support, Feral Interactive, Borderlands Game of the Year, Mac Init, and finally you'll see right here, WillowEngine.ini. Now you're going to want to back up most likely this whole folder just in case something goes wrong. If something does go wrong, be aware. It isn't my fault because I have told you about this and I don't believe that there's any going back after this. So simply take the take the file, your previous file that you had before, and copy it to somewhere and write like Borderlands Backup or something. So you're going to want to drag the willowengine.ini file into here, and that's literally all you have to do. Now Borderlands is going to run much smoother, it's going to look much nicer, than uh, if you simply had all the settings turned to the lowest and if you want to see exactly what that will look like well you're in luck because that's just what I'm about to show you so yes this is quite simple I made this myself uh, all I all I had to do was modify uh, some values and uh, other things <laughs> in uh, in the uh, willow engine file uh, it took me a long time to do because uh, I ended up changing quite a number of things, but I like the way it turned out, and I mean, I'm able to play it flawlessly now, almost. So, we'll get started on this, and you'll see just how good it is. Now, before, uh, some people might have noticed, might have seen on YouTube videos of people playing Borderlands uh, with example all the settings at high um, see the problem with that is they were running it on Windows using using boot camp uh, this is not using boot camp or anything like that this is using simply what is a uh, what is sort of given to us I guess you could say uh, through the App Store I believe it cost uh, twenty dollars I'm not hundred percent certain on that um, but yes, uh, so now it's going to be loading here, and of course, because of the recording program, it's not going to be running at its maximum frame rate. So, sadly, I'm not going to be able to show you the full experience, but I can tell you right now that it runs, without the recording software, it runs in its 50 frames. So, here we have it. It, uh, it doesn't seem to be running absolutely 100% flawlessly here. But again, that's because of the recording software. Normally, it runs uh, nearly flawlessly. And I'm using currently a 11-inch 2013 MacBook Air. So, what I've activated in this is sort of higher resolution shadows. There's the little light shafts. Uh, there's bloom. There's the uh, view distance. I believe I've changed the uh, field of view. Um, but in general, it, oh wait, and the, well, I'm going to show you the settings right here. Some of these actually don't change anything anymore, but yeah, as you can see here, I have everything at on. Most of them, again, don't affect it because I have, of course, modified the uh, Willow Engine file, but in general, it works fine. And... Now you'll be able to enjoy Borderlands Game of the Year without pretty much any problem at all.
And now I'm, I'm going to go and get into some sort of like firefight so that I can show you guys just how well it actually works. And yes, it is a modded shield, that's why I'm not getting hurt or anything. I just got this character so that I could show you without having to struggle too much with, uh, with uh, enemies or anything like that. Alright, so, let's find Bonehead, there he is. So as you can see, bullets, explosions, stuff's going on, game's not slowing down that much, game still looks nice. And, for some reason I wasn't reloading, there we go. As you can see, everything seems to be working fine, and all it takes is that little swap of the file. So, if you've liked this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Do whatever you want. If you didn't like the video, then leave something in the comment section that hates on it really bad so that I get sad. Just kidding, that won't happen. But anyways, if you've liked this video, if this video has been helpful to you in any way whatsoever, please just, like, show your gratitude in some way, I guess. And for now, this is going to be... Uh, Amzab123, signing out.